Will you order the German version of Backstreet Boys from Wish? This is what you get. All right, you guys, I'd like to thank you so, so much for tuning in for today. Uh, we're going to be checking out another video by Andrew Tate. You guys have been loving this content, supporting the content, been interacting with it. Um, so I'm going to bring, start bringing in more of this type of content for you guys. Let me know what you want to see, if you want to see anything specifically. Um, but this is titled, Andrew Tate Brutally Reality Checks a Western Woman. I mean, <laughs> we're here for it, right? Make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. Let's go out for nine months if you're not gonna like sorry race. my headphones got off if you're not if you're not gonna have if you're not gonna have children if you're not gonna have children what are you gonna do with your lives if i'm not gonna have children um travel just <clears throat> pursue anything that makes me happy um try to make mm. money mm -hmm. i love Fair. traveling so i would probably just drink co drink cocktails on a beach okay nice. <laughs> <laughs> About the same i mean basically <laughs> about the same thing like travel focus on my career things sure. like that like my career will become my baby what about uh what about you uh, <laughs> he's trying to bro he, the way he's trying to hold him alive is is ridiculously funny to me did i just say ridiculous i mean ridiculously funny to me sometimes the song slips. like my career will become my baby what about uh what about you um i honestly just want to get right into my career oh god okay that's pretty much it. What do you want to do in life? Um, right now, so I go to the <laughs> University of Miami. I'm majoring in, in interactive media. What I want to do with that is uh, build virtual reality simulators for the military. <laughs> then I'm also minoring in motion pictures. I'm interested in acting and shit like that. Yeah, Miss Cuba? He's literally... I'm dying with him on the inside. Come on, bro. Then I'm also minoring in motion pictures. I'm interested in acting and shit like that. Yeah, Miss Cuba, what about you? Do whatever the fuck I want. Okay. <laughs> Now, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, it is this attitude that we, as the modern men, despise. Yeah, Miss Cuba, what about you? Do whatever the fuck I want. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We well, I plan on becoming a doctor. Oh. So I'm just, my career. Your career. I'm okay. passionate right. about it, so. A life without children is, is vapious. And it's inane and it's pointless. And Agreed. You can sit here and think that your career matters, but the truth is that your job will fire you out of whim and don't give That's a second, right. don't give a solitary That's shit. So and yeah. when you're 52 and you're past it with no grandchildren in a house by yourself, and all your friends have grandchildren in this beautiful life, and you're sitting there by yourself, do you think the fact that you can afford a few extra Gucci bags? Is he literally about to cry now? Or is she about to laugh? I can't, I can't make it out. Children, this beautiful life, and you're sitting there by yourself. Do you think the fact that you could afford a few extra Gucci bags is going to genuinely make you feel happy? I was at my grandmother's 93rd birthday. I looked there. My grandmother had Ooh. nine children. So there was my father. Yeah, he hit a nerve there. He hit a nerve there. You know, you know not, not, not everything he says to me is, 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 how can I say, that? morally correct. But you you can't argue the, with the fact that 99% of the time is facts. If you really sit and think about what he's saying, that life without children is vapious, it is. I mean, you could you could only work so much. You need to rest at some stage. And are you telling me that you're going to be happy resting completely alone? The fact that you can afford a few extra Gucci bags is going to genuinely make you feel happy. I was at my grandmother's 93rd birthday. Mm -hmm. I looked there. My grandmother had nine children. Yeah. Was my father and, and eight more. Damn. They all had a bunch of kids, blah, blah, blah. I stood there and I looked at my 93-year-old grandmother, and there was a room, a whole room full with maybe 70 people that came from that one woman. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that remarkable? Yeah. That, nobody cared about her career. Nobody asked what job she did. Nobody asked how many times she went to yeah, the club. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody asked if she had, had time to go to festivals. No. You had 70 sentient beings, including myself. Full of life from one oh. woman to dedicate herself to being a mother. Oh, bro, I, I listen. I feel sorry for her, but I also don't feel sorry for her because you still have the choice to change your thinking. She's still young. She's still, young. you can still change the thinking and change your mindset, and she she wouldn't need to end up alone. All that I'm saying. Seventy sentient beings, including myself, 
full of life from one woman who dedicated herself to being a mother and and and, and a good and a good wife. That is beautiful. And if you sit yep. here and genuinely think that you're going to work your ass off through your fertile years and by the age of 54, you're no. not going to be suicidal alone with a cat, then you're dumb. <laughs> it's the same with a man. It's the same with a man. You know, I think we try and harbor, especially now during the modern age, we harbor this attitude of, okay, you know what? I'm having a cold attitude and, you know, not really give a shit and just work. But yeah, you can work and that is a good thing. And you can chase your goals, but you there, there needs to come a time when you need to sit back and do some reflectance and see, you know, okay, oh shit, <laughs> I'm doing this shit alone and I'm getting frustrated and you're getting frustrated because you don't have the support structure. That's my opinion. The but happiest really women on this. earth have children and a man who's paying the bills and their mothers. It's correct. The happiest people on earth. It's correct. I guarantee it. Your, your mothers, sure? ask your own mother, do you nah. regret having me? Literally. She's going to say, of course not. not. You're the nope. best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> so now you're going to sit here and you're going to end your own People bloodline? All your ancestors were out there surrounded by saber-toothed fucking tigers <laughs> trying to survive on the streets out there in caveman days just to get to the final end. Oh, where the we streets. have all the medical care and you can live in a nice warm house for your fucking selfish ass to say, no, I don't want kids. I'm too busy in the fucking strip club or going to fucking oh, Mallorca no. to, have a fucking, <laughs> to have a pina colada on the beach. It's yeah. absolutely insulting to your entire bloodline. Yeah. Everything everyone above you has ever done and struggled for all the times your grandparents went to work when they didn't feel like it just for you to exist for your selfish ass to say no me and my passions and my dreams and my shit drawings and my instagram page <laughs> is worth more than ever having children you're a selfish fuck fuck that you should all have kids <laughs> carry a child okay yeah 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 i love this i love this you know what it's, it ultimately does come down to personal choice it ultimately does so you know what you either don't want children or you want, but make sure that the reason you, for you not wanting children is is really solidified and it's and it's something that you won't regret later because she, you know, the woman who spoke in a career as a doctor while pursuing that career, it does, it looked to me as if she she was really saying that just to please people. She wasn't being true to herself, and that's why I think she just kind of drawed. I think you know what he said made her self reflect a little bit, and and she realized that okay, he has a point, right? But anyway, guys, if you want to see more Andrew Tate content, please let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like, uh, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.